guys, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Got a bench update for you. A4F Blue Angel Skyhawk. So I've been doing a little bit of work here. Got some photos to show you of the build process. And I want to talk about a couple of the mods that I've done on this plane as well. So, it's been a while since you've seen it, but uh, this is where we're at right now. And you see that I have most of the major components uh, assembled on the aircraft, uh, minus pretty much the canopy area here. I do not have the leading edge of the intakes installed because those are gonna be, well, I want them to look like chrome. Um, so I'm gonna be painting those separate from the aircraft. I don't have my leading edge slats installed on either side because those also are going to be painted chrome and uh, so I'm going to paint them separately. I don't have the, the anti-collision or the, uh, the navigation light housing installed because I don't want that to be blue when I paint the airplane. But uh, overall everything else is uh, pretty much as it needs to be in order for me to get ready to paint. Now, I was talking about modification in this fairing right here. You see it here it's on the port side underneath the cockpit underneath the intake um, and I'll show you a photo of what it looked like on the real aircraft and this is my version of it and hopefully I did a fairly decent job I tried to mimic the correct diameter the location how it mounted onto the aircraft and I think I did pretty good. But let's look at the other thing that I have done here. Hopefully you can see that. Now, you'll notice back here, I have installed the parachute housing. Uh, this is for you know short field landings. They, they have a, a parachute housing that was installed on the aircraft. And this is actually a flap fairing. Now this kit came with the ability to put the flaps and you'll notice that the flaps are not installed on this yet either because uh, they're going to be painted red on the inside. Um, this lower surface of the wing uh, behind the flaps uh, is also going to be painted red and I'm going to put the flaps in a deployed or a down position when I build this so that's the reason why they're not on the aircraft right now but back to the flap fairing back here it came with the ability to put the flaps up or down and this is one of the fairings that you would use if uh, you built with the aircraft with the flaps up so i'll show you a picture of what that looked like on a real aircraft and then you can look at it here You'll also notice that I have a centerline pylon on the aircraft and they actually flew with that uh, whenever they were doing cross-country flights they would put a centerline drop tank on the aircraft so uh, for the shows for demonstrations they just take the drop tank off and they left the 
center line uh, pylon on the aircraft. So um, I went ahead and put that on as well. Now the landing gear, the landing gear here, uh, this is the plastic gear that came with the kit and I'm still not certain if I'm going to use it or not, but the ones on the main, uh, the main struts seem like they're fairly sturdy, but this nose wheel uh, is, is a little weak. I've actually had to glue it right there at the base of the silver, uh, the base of the shot strut. I've had to glue that on. Uh, it had started to crack, so I've glued it already, and uh, it don't even have a whole lot of weight on it yet. Uh, and mainly, I just have the landing gear on it, uh, just because. I mean, it's not even glued in place. I can pull it right off. Um, but anyway, so I'm really thinking that I might end up putting metal landing gear on it, at least the nose landing gear. I don't necessarily like the fact either that the wheel and tire assembly is, is all one piece with the strut. Um, I, I really don't like that and it looked kind of, I don't know, the right word, hokey, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, for all the detail that's on this model, they, they kind of fell short with this nose landing gear. Um, that tire should have been a separate piece, but you then run into even worse problem of that landing gear would be extremely fragile if you did that. So, I mean, I kind of understand, but still, I wished it was different. All right, guys, so there you have it. Just about ready for paint. Hopefully, we'll be doing that uh, soon. I don't know exactly when. Uh, the weather is turning kind of cold. I got to paint outside. So, uh, it is definitely going to be uh, done whenever the, the conditions are correct. So, uh, just stay tuned and I'll give you updates as I have them. And uh, as always, remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.